Hello guys, welcome back to our Sims 4 Werewolf's Guide. Today, I will be showing you guys how to add and remove your werewolf's temperaments. First of all, we've got to turn our sim into a werewolf first. And the code for that is traits.equip underscore trait space trait underscore call werewolf. Um, I will put this in the description below, and as you can see, um, he's now a werewolf. I uh, can see by this too, which I really do like this. Um, as you can see, he has his ranking bar too, which I really do quite like. And his theory, most importantly. Um, as well as his temperament, which we are focusing on in today's video. Uh, so, these red temperaments, these are what affect your werewolf's theory to increase faster. And occasionally, you'll get a mulet. Uh, or uh, emotion, you'll get a mulet, a specific emotion, as well as need to decay faster. So, he has carnivores. So what this means is he is, has a strict diet of fresh meat. And also, uh, if he eats uh, non-fresh meat items, such, such as like cereal, um, anything besides fresh meat, um, you also get angry mulet, as well as your fury increases faster. And occasionally, you also get angry mulet. Tells you that uh, they have a sudden craving, um, and during that time they'll also get their fury increase faster as well, as their hunger going down faster as well. So this can make your werewolf starve to death as well, provided they don't have the wolf, uh, the immortal wolf ability, which is at apex. Um, so, again, I'm focusing on the uh, terabits, which are these. Not your fury, which is this. But, um, because I've already talked about theory in my previous videos and what it is. So, really similar on how to turn them into a werewolf, you're going to put traits.equip underscore trait space trait underscore call werewolf. But, there's going to be more after this. You're going to put uh, underscore temperaments underscore whatever uh, temperament they have. You don't want to put in again because it won't do anything. So, you're going to go ahead and put, uh, let's see if this works. I tried this earlier, but it did not work. There we go, it did not work. Um, I think I know how to deal with that. Um. Um. Let's see if I get this right after this. Okay, then. Um. By the way, um, I'm a huge fan of werewolves. They did a fantastic job. I use werewolves a lot in The Sims 4. Um, I don't know why. I guess there's just something about them uh, that I really do like. Uh, it's for like the lore players as well, but I just I just play with werewolves all the time. Um, sometimes I play with vampires too. And then other times I'm like, oh yeah, let's play with normal sims. Although they're kind of boring now. Like I personally prefer my occult sims. <laughs> I'm an occult player, okay? More than anything, so. Um, but... Uh, Go ahead and make sure. Okay, so put lo lunar. Um, so you're gonna require more uh, to this one than your. Well, I caught that. Um, <laughs> your natural temperaments. So the lunar ones are the blue ones. So let's see if I put Marco the wolf and see if it works this time. Ah, I did not. What? Okay, let's go ahead and add like, uh, for instance, whack with guilt. Um, this one's pretty much self-explanatory, but, um, I'll go ahead and add it anyway. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. You gotta get the code exactly right, too, because otherwise it won't work. That's, that's kind of something I don't like about this, but that's fine. Um, they can do whatever they want, even if we hate it, so... So we're using, we're going to put Wax with Guilt. Um, and there you have it. So now he has Wax with Guilt. Uh, which means that sometimes the weight of this werewolf curse is too much to bear. Not only do these sims gain extra fury while sad, they also might feel a... 
silver of remorse for their actions. Um, this one is a pain, to be honest with you, because if you lose a loved one, um, you'll become sad. Um, and while you're sad, you get extra furies. So that's like kind of an annoyment. Um, that's actually really similar to another one that I'm going to do, and that is Big Bad Wolf. So we're going to go ahead and put traits, uh, dot, equip, underscore trait, space trait, uh, whoops, I explain, got rid of the L on a cult. Um, it's fine. Um, again, you're just going to put werewolf, all one word. By the way, uh, this doesn't have to be capitalized. Uh, not if it's capitalized, it won't work. It can be capitalized, and it still will work. But it doesn't have to be capitalized, which I really do like. So, if you put it capitalized, it will work. But if it's lowercase, it will also still work. So, if it's not capitalized, it will still work. But, um, it doesn't have to be capitalized for it to work, which I really do like. Um. Um, for some reason, it's not allowed me, um, you know. Okay, so, let's do Big Bad Wolf. Really similar to Whack of Guilt. Um... Um, to where, uh, these sims will occasionally want to fight with sims. See, the inner demon within is unleashed. Not only will the sim, uh, gain additional fury while angry, but will also need to fight other sims in order to keep aggression down. If this wolf, uh, asks to come inside, best to say not by the hairs on my chin, chin, chin. And yes, that is a, uh, three pigs. The Three Pigs reference, in case you're wondering, <laughs> which is really funny. Um, I do like that. So we have no we have room for one more temperament, which can be right here. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to remove uh, your temperaments too. I forgot to show you guys that. Uh, and now I'll end this video because I don't want this video too overwhelming for you guys. So we're just going to go ahead and put traits dot remove underscore trait space trait underscore cold werewolf uh, underscore temperaments. And we're just going to get rid of carnivore real quick. Um, as you can see, carnivore is gone. No more carnivore. It's only Wrath of Guilt and Big Bad Wolf now. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, really similar to Spellcaster Curses, if you have your Spellcaster, if you have Rama Magic, uh, my nose is getting, uh, stocked up. Apologize for you guys, uh, apologize for you guys, but, uh, hope you guys enjoyed, that is how you remove and add werewolf timber bets to your werewolf. Uh, again, this requires, uh, the werewolf game pack, as well as your sim to be a werewolf. Uh, always when it's starting out, when you're first turning your sim into a werewolf, they always start with a random tipper bit. Uh, as they rank up, uh, so like if they go from pup to rut, they will get uh, the second one. Uh, from rut to prime, they get the third one. Uh, and from prime to veteran, they get the fourth and last one. They will not get a fifth one once they reach apex. So I hope that, I hope that makes sense. And yeah, on that note, I'm going to end this video. Until next time. Peace out.